our biggest game is the next game. That's the way I was raised in this profession. That's what, and when I say profession, I get raised by my dad, who, who was a football coach. They can't tap on now. Let's keep it on. Coaching is take a little bit of the things from the people in your past. I have three huge mentors in coaching, and one is my dad that I've been with since the beginning, right? Getting coaching points since the beginning. I've always told him, you got to be yourself. You know, number one, I mean, and you have to remember where you came from. The Sirianni family business of football coaching begins in Western New York, in the city of Jamestown. Patriarch Franz started it all at Southwestern Central High School, and his sons would later become head coaches at three different levels. Huge! Huge! That's huge! His oldest, Mike, leads Division III's Washington and Jefferson. The middle son, Jay, coaches at the same high school as his dad. And the youngest, Nick, guides the Philadelphia Eagles. We've preached family to our children, and it was kind of nice to see the fact that they enjoyed doing that. We all went into teaching and coaching uh, because of both parents being teachers and dad being a coach. And, it was just an awesome way to grow up with a family like that. My mom would drop us off at football practice and we were filling up the water bottles or jumping over the dummies, pretending we were Walter Payton, or just being with the, the team. Head coaches are expected to project calm at all times. As a grade schooler, Nick remembers the example Fran set while enduring two bouts with Hodgkin's lymphoma. The man stayed steady through the whole thing because he knew he had to be this calming force for all of his family that we're gonna struggle through. One thing about Fran is he was really brave through all that. You know, he would miss the day that he had chemo and then the next day he was in school. And we just kind of tried to make it normal for the kids. To have that example of mental toughness, I still draw back on that. Like. You know, uh, man, it's, it's how, how's this, how's this any tougher than what it was for my dad? If Fran was the standard for cerebral fortitude, then Nick's physical grit and competitive drive can be traced back to lessons delivered in ways that only older brothers can. One to laugh and tell you, hey, we beat the crap out of them and that's why it's tough. He, he said we were roughhousing, that was just hanging out, just playing with your brother, right? Nick had to be the tackling dummy at times. I mean, he's the youngest. This is how similar Nick and I were. We would go play two-on-two -two basketball at our high school. Nick and I would just be arguing, like, I'm not picking for you, or I'm not passing to you. We stopped playing. After we lost like 10 straight times, I'm like, we're done, we're not playing together anymore. So rough housing, I don't, you know, yeah, he probably took his lumps. With the Eagles playing in the Super Bowl, Nick's career unfolds on the national stage. Back in Jamestown, Fran and Amy Sirianni see that their son hasn't forgotten one of the most crucial aspects of the family business. We did it all together, and, and I appreciate the fact that he enjoys doing that with his children. And I like it when Nick takes his kids to his press conferences. Gave a seat up for his little sister. That was pretty special. We get pizza tonight. Taylor, stop it. Taylor, stop. Nick, it sounds like you're not on this journey to the Super Bowl with the Philadelphia Eagles without your brothers and your dad. I, I've said this a lot, like, who was my favorite coach growing up? Fran Sirianni. Who was my favorite players growing up? Mike Sirianni, Jay Sirianni. Why? Because I was there. It's where I live. Getting a little teary-eyed, like, whoa, that's what I, this is what I used to do, you know, way back when, and now I'm in this moment from Southwestern High School to the moment where we are right now.